Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how to get long, healthy hair. Basically, I'm just going to share with you like my top three secrets, I guess, or tips for like growing out long, healthy hair. I don't really have like an issue with growing out long hair, but the problem that I had for the longest time was like making it look good because though it was very long, the ends are very like dead and damaged. I think when you want long hair, you also want like long healthy hair and you want it to be thick like throughout. So yeah, I'm just gonna hop right in. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So tip number one is actually brush your hair less. This tip actually helped me way more than like anything else and when I first heard about this, I always just thought that was like way too much. I was like, oh, I want to brush my hair when I want to and I want to like do what I want to my hair. But actually, brushing my hair less has changed it so dramatically and this has made more of a difference than like anything else that I've tried. As soon as I started doing this, I noticed results like within a couple of weeks because the ends just wouldn't be so thin anymore. They would just be normal and healthy and they would look the same as like the rest of my hair. So what I do now is I only brush my hair before I wash it. So I'll put a little like pre-treatment into my hair, like an oil. I use Argan just because it has a pump and it's really easy, but you can use like coconut oil or even olive oil. I just like the Argan one because it's like liquid, it has a pump, so you never have to worry about it being like a solid and to like melt it into your hand. It's just really easy and convenient and whenever things are easy and convenient, I tend to do it more. So I really like this Argan oil. But anyway, so I put a treatment in, I brush it, and then after I wash my hair, I don't brush it. And then if I'm going to bed and not doing anything, then I'm not going to brush it. And then the next day, if I'm not going anywhere, or if it's like the weekends and I am going like out to eat and stuff, but I don't really care, then I will literally just leave it. But yeah, that's the biggest thing. Try your hardest to not brush your hair. I used to be that girl who like carried one in my purse and would like brush it like all the time because I thought that would make it shiny and look nice. And like it does right away when you just brush your hair it looks really silky and detangled and soft and nice but when you keep doing it you're just breaking off your hair especially the ends and that's just gonna make your ends like thin and straggly and it's just not gonna look good and then secret number two is actually this conditioner this is the tresme keratin smooth conditioner you guys this i think this is actually like the best drugstore conditioner and that's saying so much because I have used so many drugstore conditioner. Every time I use up like a bottle of conditioner, I buy like a new brand to like try it out because I've always wanted to know like what the best one was. And I, the funny thing is I would never even like buy this for myself, but I was like at Josh's house and like this is the conditioner he had. And so I used it and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. So it claims to be anti-frizz, detangles, shine, softness, and tames flyaway. So I feel like all of those things are true, but the biggest thing for me is like detangles and shine. And I feel like it makes my hair so soft as well. I never like thought, oh, the best drugs are conditioner, like trust me. Like I would never think that. But having tried it, like it actually is the best drugs or conditioner. Nothing has ever made my hair so like detangled and so soft. I love this and I've like repurchased it which is like <laughs> such a thing because I usually just like buy a new bottle like something different so I can try it out but I've stuck to this because it really is amazing and it's like three or four dollars from Target so I don't know it's really like accessible and affordable okay and then my third secret is just like leaving your hair alone so I used to wash my hair like every two days and when it was really damaged and I had like ombre I'd wash it like once a week like Honestly, that was pretty disgusting. Like, <laughs> yes, it did help my hair feel like softer and smoother, but like at what cost? <laughs> it was just like disgusting and I would feel really gross. <laughs> so what I've adjusted to now is just washing my hair every other day and I feel like that works best. And combined with the whole like not brushing my hair as much, I feel like that is like the perfect thing for me to do. The best thing to do is just wash your hair every other day. That's just like the easiest thing to do and it's just gonna give you like the best results because your hair will be less damaged but also you won't have like nasty disgusting hair. And then I always air dry mine as well so that's just like another part of like leaving it alone. <laughs> just like not blow drying it every day, not putting heat on it, not putting like a bunch of dye and bleach on it. 
that would just really help your hair. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!